bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see from up here. The world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful, you and me. We meant to be. Hello and welcome. This is Double O'Neill, and my name is Tris. And it's good to see you all again. Well, maybe I can't see you, but you can see me. So, I'm going to play on the railway today, and I'm going to put a little road down. I've looked at many, many different methods of how to do this. And what I'm going to do is uh, let you watch me use some poly filler. I slap on, and I smear around with my finger, basically. And I'm pretty happy with the results. Obviously, there's a whole ton of different ways, and I've seen people do some fantastic uh, jobs of this, but for me... I just want to do quick and simple stuff that's fun and enjoyable and gets my fingers messy whilst I do it. But whilst we're here, I was just going to say don't forget to hit subscribe, like, comment and hit that bell. That will allow you to see my future videos and I want to say a massive thank you to everyone that's left the really nice comments lately. Um, as well as just generally subscribe to the channel to see what I have to bring in the future. Obviously we're at times of COVID-19. Coronavirus and it's not fun. A lot of us will be working from home. Some of you might be frontline workers, so you know if any of you are NHS workers or support workers for anything that's helping this cause, um, I really appreciate everything you're doing and um, just keep being amazing. Um, I'm at home. I'm doing my bit, staying at home as Boris asked, and um, yeah. I'm gonna, in my evenings, I'll jump up into the loft and do some bits and bobs. And during the day, I'll be doing my normal work. And on the weekends, I'll have a bit more time because I sometimes work on the weekends. It's uh, part of my hobby slash job. So I do. Uh, with the cars, that, there's no racing at the moment, so there's no social gatherings. And um, as we're at home, we don't even get to go to model railway shows or anything like that. So um, I hope you uh, are all keeping yourselves safe and looking after yourselves. Um, following the rules of not seeing family um, I guess we've got the wonderful world of the internet so we can connect through various types of video uh, through zoom or facetime whatsapp video all these different things that are out there so um, make use of them um, see your loved ones that way um, yeah so obviously as you can see here I've uh, been putting the um, poly filler on it dried in, I don't know, it's like an hour and a bit. It dried, it seemed to dry. Um, it gone reasonably firm. I reckon if I had some PVA glue with it, like my dad suggested, and mixed it together, it'd be all right. But after that, just let it dry. And then, as you can see, cleaning the track. Get that nice, because I haven't run the trains around, well, the locomotives carrying their trains or pulling the trains um, for ages, you know. Um, since I sprayed the track and did the ballasting, I haven't run anything and I've missed it big time so giving it fantastic clean get everything really really nice and then we just run the engines around um, there's something nice about the clitty clack as it goes over all the joints and everything and um, yeah it's very satisfying and, and you remind yourselves of actually like when I first did the railway I just put track down and I ran them around and oh, it was very enjoyable I, I can't tell you how how enjoyable that was and for me i hadn't done it for a few years and it's like when you go to a model show and you hear in the room so much going on and with oh again the click to clack is all the joints of with the wheels going over them it's it's brilliant uh, but anyway i've given this a hoover off i'm ready to run the engines around i have the a4 rocking around now you can enjoy that and uh yeah let's just have a little watch for this enjoy um i'll see you in a minute we'll give it some uh, some paint and uh, start giving it a bit of life with a bit of color Jeez.
So we're going to paint this with a bit of grey paint. Uh, this is just from Hobbycraft, this stuff. It doesn't even say grey in the in the pot. Um, so just squirt some of it in and I put some water with it and be fine. Um, and so I just painted it this block colour and then later on, after it all dried, I actually put some kind of a, a wash from my old Warhammer paints or Citadel, I think is the, the range of paints that they do. And um, I just kind of painted over the top so any cracks and crevices and everything they just kind of filled up with a bit of wash and it looks darker and I don't want to spend too much time on it later on I could probably come back and do some weathering and put some lines on uh, where cars have been driving a bit of oil spots in places where cars have been leaking they've got some dodgy gaskets and uh, yeah it's quite satisfying um, I'm looking forward to doing more roads on the railway. I've got obviously the side where the station is, which you haven't seen for a while. I'll have to start doing some more on that sometime. But where the station is, I want to add, well, that's the main station anyway, um, add, add the roads and add 11 crossing and stuff like that. Now, I'd like to have a crossing here. We need to find a small one. I brought a Pico set, um, but far too big for the tiny narrow gauge line. Maybe I'll make something up, or maybe there isn't one. It's all about responsible... Um, uh, people crossing the road and uh, not get themselves into trouble getting run over by a narrow gauge engine. Yeah, so um, painting all of this has been quite satisfying because we've got the static grass, which I've had some fantastic comments about. I will say it's uh, been very pleasing to have all of you say the nice comments that you do. If you haven't already done it, just do it. It's fun um, and it's messy and, and there's nothing better than making a mess sometimes. Obviously, yeah, you have to clean up afterwards, but it's fine. It's not like you've made your room messy and you've got to tidy up. Sorry, I think I just yawned there. Well, you know I yawned. I can't just hide that one. But anyway, um, after I've done this, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just paint a bit of brown paint to finish off all the edges, ready for when I do some static grass later on. Um, trying to work out if I'm going to put a fence up or anything like that um, next to the um, the ballast um, edge. You need to stop people walking out on there and a bit of a safety barrier. So again, that's stuff I could do later on. It's all detailing. But now I'm just going to paint it brown and yeah, hopefully you enjoy all of that. Um, it's just not really the most... Um, comprehensive video that you've ever seen um, but hopefully it's been relaxing for you I, for me I've been looking on YouTube a lot to find things that satisfy me um, and because with all the stuff going on you just want to chill you, you don't really want to be listening about Covid all, all the time and I've been following what's been going on but when someone puts out a good video and, and something you can just watch and relax to it doesn't always have to give you a lot of information um, it's nice to see it and uh, and have it there so all of you youtubers that I watch um, thank you when you put videos out it's been very enjoyable for me and um, I hope that if you watch mine that you enjoy them too um, hopefully we'll get to see each other at a model railway show soon I haven't met any of the youtubers yet I'm looking forward to meeting some of you and um, to say thank you for everything you're doing you got me into doing all of this I wouldn't be playing on the loft if it wasn't for yourselves. Um, and sometimes I'm driving home from work and I'm thinking about what I'd like to do. But, like I said before, try and keep yourself safe. Um, take yourself poorly. A lot of my age range are actually in the the age groups which will get affected when I look at my um, analytics. Um, well, it doesn't say if you're above 70, but you're in the, in the upper ages. And um, I want you to just take care of yourselves and um, say no if, if uh, you, you know, your kids want to pop round or whatever. Um, well, I'm sure they'd be safe. It's up to you what you do. But yeah, just don't get yourself poorly um, for the sake of waiting a couple of weeks. Um, I'm going to try and put more videos up to keep you all entertained. Um, maybe I'll do two a week, but we'll see. Let's see if I have time this weekend to do some recording. I've got a few things that I need to do first, but we'll see what happens. But it's been lovely to see you all. And I hope this has given you some form of entertainment and you've listened to me babble on for a while. And I'll see you soon. Bye.